Okay, give me a second. L.A. Pong. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Have you heard of punk rock? Yeah. It's something that the kids are into as of recent. And you're watching Channel 5 News. We're live now in Lafayette Park in downtown Los Angeles, California, where around 5,000 people have gathered. Find out why. Fuck Golden Bitch! <laughs> Jesus. I'm about to take this balloon to the fucking neck and that's it. Why? <laughs> Just because I don't give a fuck about the authority and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the authority. Exactly. Right Punk is thinking are. by yourself. Every authority and shit. <gasps> oh my god. What the fuck, dude? You know what I'm saying? Fuck the authority. Exactly. Yeah. Punk is thinking by yourself. Every single punk in this motherfucker has a problem. Everybody has their story. I ended up having to wake up next to a dumpster truck. Somebody took a shit next to me and I woke up. Well, let's just say <laughs> an entire fuck? bottle of Jack Daniels, whiskey, Jägermeister, and a couple of lines of Coke could definitely do a lot for somebody. We came out here because we Jesus. needed this tonight. We fucking needed it. We needed this tonight. This is fucking LA, bro. We party for our living. <laughs> That's good, dude. I need I'm vaccinated. Shout out to the vaccine. Shout out to being socially aware. Fucking shout, shout out, out to Whippus. I'm on a sick one, baby. Shout out to the vaccine, dude. Get vaccinated. You guys are going to do heroin, but you're not going to take the vaccine? Does that make sense? Shout out to Anaheim. <laughs> oh, see. Oh, see. You know what? I used to work for fucking Disneyland. They fucking laid me off. Fuck Disneyland. Fuck Magic Mountain. I feel like that's exactly what... This is exactly what I would expect at a, at a punk show, right here. Oh, fuck Magic Mountain, fuck this. I wonder why. Yeah, I guess so. How'd she even get hired? I mean, I'm sure she used to be a nice girl, okay? She's, she's a very nice girl. Oh my god. Bitch! Ah! Ah! Look at ah! I don't spend money on beer, nigga. You don't give a fuck. How would you pass this dude? This dude, he, he's using the N word like a period, man. If someone tried to tell you that you gave a fuck, I'd be like, bitch, what the fuck? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> the thing is to me is like, I love seeing people like this guy because they remind me so much of a lot of my friends that I grew up with. And they're doing the exact same shit that he's doing too. Like, it's the exact same thing. It doesn't matter if it's in L.A. or Austin. It's the same goddamn motherfuckers, man. It's not S-Fan. No one gives a fuck! Hey, I'll push it aside. Thank you, God. Thank you yeah. to the homie right here. Okay. Por vida, nigga! Who give a fuck? Who's what the hell is that? Can I get one shotgun? One fucking shotgun! Back up! Jesus. All right, look, look. What a life. I went to the club and now fucked the YB, nigga. Who's YB? I fucked YB. If you don't know YB, you want to know today. I fucked YB, bitch. She was busted. Bro, I fucked YB. Who's YB? I don't understand. YB, you really want me to get breaking down to y'all? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yo, bitch, nigga. This is the way these people live. This is how they people live. And like, this is so everybody thinks, everybody thinks to themselves, oh, people don't act like this anymore. Broke, <laughs> broke Post Malone. Yeah, basically, dude, there are people like this all over. Like if, if you go downtown, there's like 10 of these, like imagine, here's what's scary, okay? You've got one of these guys. Okay, that's a problem. Imagine if three of these guys get together all at the same time and they all have modelos i will get the 9.1 shit later don't worry about it what's, what's that oh it's a nose balloon we have favorite things in life graffiti on my kid get it both in that yeah graffiti on my daughter and punk rock don't forget me <laughs> bunning you in the ass what he likes getting a bun in the ass so what's your name me? What? I'm nobody i remember i kicked it with you and i said you were gay and you ranked it out <laughs> I told you, oh man, you're my friend. You're like, nah. I don't. He called him gay and he cut it out of the video. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my. And the fact that he remembered it. That's the thing is, he watched the video. He's like, oh man. And you know he's watching it and he's thinking to himself, oh man, they cut out the best part. 
That's what it is. Yeah, he remembers it. Oh my god. I know you, and I'm like, what's up then? Let's get down. And you said, nah. Well, I did a lot of yay. I did a lot of hookers. I don't know. There's a oh, lot of crazy drink? stories I could say now. The balloons, man. Oh my god! What the fuck? I feel like a fucking superstar right now, dude. I just feel like I can do oh. anything. I feel like I can walk across the street and get hit by a car and still live like a cat, like nine lives. What? <laughs> Cut the fucking ketamine! Ketamine too. <laughs> I really wish I had ketamine, but my plug out of state. I'm trying to feel like a horse, my boy. Shit, pass that shit, perro. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I don't do any drugs. I don't do any drugs guys. I want to say um, this is what happens whenever you do drugs This is what what happens to you and um, I, I, I I Not not a fan of drugs don't like drugs. This is anti-drug ad. That's what they should do The thing is is like half of these people the problem is like half of these people will watch this video and be like man I'm so glad that's not me and then the other half of people will watch this video and be like man I want to go to LA right literally right now like they party for a living and they just uh, fucking they just do drugs all day like I'm already there shout out to F4B crew we out here at the Dead City Punk show oh he just poured all of it on his face <laughs> oh my god what is that? Oh my god. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? What is this guy doing? What is he doing? Oh my god. Be yourself, eat mushrooms, and uh, fuck a lot. What's more important of all those three things? Mushrooms, because the mushrooms are alien and it'll teach you everything that you need to know. Because human beings are aliens. It's true, shit. dude. You don't know anything. It's true. I met Buddha one time when I was eating like seven grams. Oh my daughter, nigga! I went and I flew through this thing and I seen like what? hella fucking famous what? ass OG fucking people like Plato, Socrates. I seen them all and, I, and they were like all congratulating me for coming through this like goofy ass little tunnel thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody was there. You know what I mean? I, I met Buddha and like Shiva and a bunch of other little cool ass fucking. So they're giant too, like giant. You talk to them? Yeah, I talked to them. I was dealing with problems with my daughter, so and then they told me like that everything was gonna be good. What I happened? Had my daughter at the time, and I didn't know where the fuck she was at. Like I was gonna kill somebody, and they were like, "Bro, there's nothing you could do about it." Shout out to Buddha, Socrates, fucking Plato. Oh yeah, and shout out to all the black skin. Shout out to everybody, uh, all the mixed people. Oh my god. And I like how he talks about it. How? Yeah, shout out. To <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Plato. <laughs> I, I like how like you know right after you're done with it, you know you think it's real, but this is probably this probably happened like last year, and he's still talking about it. Like he's just talking about it like it's a, it's just a, it, it is what it is, you know. People out there, everybody else is weird. You're not weird. Everybody's weird. Yeah, true. They try to make you feel like you're weird. True. You're not weird, bro. They, they're fucking weirdos. We're weird. Like we're, you know what I mean? We're we're tight as fuck. How would you describe your style in three words? Okay. Trashy, crusty, and dirty. What's the crustiest thing you've ever done? Uh, I licked like some straight ice cream off of my pants and I don't wash them for shit. I don't believe in shit. Fuck rules, fuck government, fuck anybody that opposes me in anything. What's your dream for your whole life? Whatever fucking goes, goes. Don't really have a plan, just fucking with it. What's your biggest regret? Dude, this is my man. Like, I love this guy. I'm, I'm, this, that, that's crazy to see somebody that's basically you, but it's another person. In life, actually finishing school. Wow, oh, shit. It was just a waste of time, bro. My middle school teacher. Wait, he regretted actually finishing school. My fucking man. My fucking man. Like, I actually, like, I thought it was like, because I remember, like, he asked, like, oh, what do you want to do and what do you regret? And I was like, oh, he says finish school. Oh, oh, that's nice. He wants to finish school. But no, bro, that was the regret. He said, fuck school. 
Miss Diane. She was always a bitch, always putting me on blast. I had asked for yeah. a pencil, and then that's when she put me on blast. She's like, how are you going to come to school with no pencil? And then, like, asking me, yeah. like, am I okay at home with family? Just unnecessary shit that had to be said, like, quietly, but, like, loudly. What was your home life like at that time? It was pretty shitty. I was getting, like, kicked out. Uh, I usually go to a friend's house or uh, knock out in my car. At what age were you like, all right, I'm not going back to my parents' house? Like, 16. What would you start doing? Fucking staying inside of a fucking car. You still live in a car? Yeah. How old are you now? Uh, 19. What's the plan? Fucking get a job and then fucking get a nice apartment. What neighborhood do you want to live in? Same neighborhood that I live in now, Boyle Heights. Is it getting more expensive there? It is. Gentrification, man. Every time I go to the laundromat now, there's like a bunch of like just random like white folks. It kind of pisses what? me off because like what? it's the same white people that are, that, that are saying like black lives matter, but are the same people that are making the houses more expensive for them. And honestly, fuck that shit. They're naming the... I miss Burning Man! Then go there! They're just naming all like... <laughs> then go there. <laughs> Especially like the timing on that. He's talking about fucking, you know, like, white people putting themselves in a place where he doesn't want them to be. And then he literally, some random fucking white guy comes up, immediately goes on the mic. Immediately, and the irony of that is so fucking good. Burning Man tickets are like 400 minimum. Burning Man is... There's no way I'd ever go there. Let me just say that. Fucking store now, after what it used to be called Brooklyn Street on Cesar Chavez. They're not naming it Cesar Chavez, it's Cesar Chavez now. They're yeah. naming that shit Brooklyn. But like, they don't they don't want to own the Cesar Chavez name. Like, that's, that's just gentrified to me because it's just fucking white, man. Six bucks for like a slice of pizza? I'm good. Bro. This is... This is my new best friend. Because he's fucking right, man. He's fucking right. Like, it, there are so many places where this is... That, that, nah, for real. Like, it's like they sell this overpriced shit. And, and they'll, they'll have, like, these sodas. And it won't be, like, Coca-Cola. It'll be, like, uh, Coca-Cola or some kind of bullshit. And it's gonna be, like, four and a half dollars for a, a, a small order of Coca-Cola. And... It's disgusting, man. Like, the, the amount, like, I remember you drive down Lamar, you drive down one of the streets here in Austin, and you see, like, all of these fucking places and these stores that are right next to these houses that these houses are, like, fucking, well, now they're worth, like, probably a million dollars, right? But, like, this is a shack, man. This is not a house. This is a fucking shack. And they came in there, and they're making all these super expensive houses so these rich people can walk around in the area and act like they're part of it. No, for real, it, it's, it, it, they're like actual, like, they're fucking hipsters that are, like, they're a plague, man. It, no, six dollars for, I'm gonna listen to that again, man. I have to listen to that again. Like, you go downtown, some of these pizza places, six fucking dollars. And a drink, it's a meal for six dollars, and it don't come with a drink. Just gentrify to me, because it's just fucking white, man. Six, six bucks for, like, a slice of pizza? Yeah. I'm good. That's a whole ass pizza itself. It's more! It, it's more! Whenever the LAPD motherfucking ghetto bird shows up, you know it's a good motherfucking show. Fuck these cops right now! Fuck these cops! By my own cop, and I still say, fuck that bitch! Fuck that bitch! I don't have to call police, I call family. That's how it is, dude. There's no 911. There's only family for me. Save the cows, eat green, save my fucking ozone layer, and get more fucking tattoos and shit. Channel 5 News. Oh my god. I, I do, like, we had some punk rock people at my school back in high school. I was never really... I was more... I was... I like punk rock. I mean, like, who doesn't like punk rock? Of course. But... I wasn't as into the music as much as I was the lifestyle of just not showering and wearing the same clothes every day like that. I was like, okay, this is, I can live with this. This is, this is my shit. But like some of the music, especially like kind of like the second tier and third tier punk out per, punk music and bands. Like I wasn't really that big of a fan of dude. Yeah, that's it. Read the comments. So it gave you an excuse. Yeah, exactly. There are so many amazing characters in this. I can't pick a favorite. Uh, dude, uh, what do you mean you can't pick a favorite? Chavez, Th it's Cesar Chavez now. They're naming that shit Brooklyn. But, like, they don't they don't want to own the Cesar Chavez name. Like, Where that's, is it? that's just gentrified to me because it's just fucking white, it? man. Six bucks for, like, a... 
slice of pizza, I'm good. That's a whole ass pizza itself. That, that, this is my favorite character right here. But I love this character. This is my favorite one. He's great. Sounds like it was recorded in the trash can, so it's good punk shit. Yeah, that's what it is. Like, yeah, the worse, the, the more punk it is, the worse the audio quality is. That's the way it works. So many people here with braces. Is there a dentist's office next door? Nah, man, there's a high school next door, and that's where they came from. That's what it is. This video demonstrates the beautiful stuff where punk scene is on a single person wanted to show off their sick rap skills. Oh, shit. That's actually, wow, what the fuck? That's true and real. What the fuck? I never thought of that. Yeah, there's no rappers in this what the fuck? This is a, uh, yeah, th this is a great video. I, I love these fucking videos. Help.